This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Welcome to the show, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. You are seeing us at a different time today, normally at 11 a.m., but we push back our time so we could all see the funeral and honoring of President George H.W. Bush. Now, today is a national day of mourning as we remember our 41st president. His funeral was fit for a war hero. The Army Manual for Procedures, 133 pages long. So lots of preparation went into today. An incredible day. President George H.W. Bush passing away at the age of 94. War hero, CIA director, of course, the president, and so much more. Our nation honors his service today. Well, turning to our show now, we do have a great one lined up for you. We're so glad that you're with us. Madeline Besson is here. She's performing a Christmas song for us. Now, she moved here from France, and she's been rocking and rolling ever since. We're so happy to have her back on our show. And then we've got a performance from Rachel Wanek. Yes, she's got a self-titled EP out today. She'll sing her version, and it's going to be beautiful. Oh, holy night. This girl, I love her so much. I met her a couple years ago, and she's just skyrocketed. So I'm so excited for everybody to hear her voice because it's gorgeous. And guess what? It's Taco Wednesday. Not really a thing, right? We're making we're it one We're making today. it one, Here's yes. what we're doing. Look at Mason those bar. little ones. Mini tacos. And we're going to play mini golf with the mini tacos. Isn't that great? <laughs> it all comes Everything together. Everything is miniature today. It's miniature. We've got a charity golf game that's happening at Lowe's Vanderbilt Hotel this weekend. We're going to tell you about it. Yeah, so Mason's Restaurant inside of there. Yes. And, ooh, it's good. So good. It's that time of year, guys. Porter Flea, their holiday market is this weekend. We are getting a preview Really incredible Ooh, event. Look how pretty. 175 vendors are going to be at the Nashville Fairgrounds. So many handcrafted artisan gifts that will be one of a kind and great to give. So we're going to give you a little preview of it. We look at it and we're like, man, the pictures are just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful it's a good vibe. Time. We're going to tell you more about it. Plus, who knew playing with toys could make you a millionaire? All I know is you've got three kids and I got one. We're doing it wrong. They're complete slackers. <laughs> YouTube announced the highest earning person on YouTube. It's a kid. A seven-year-old. It's this boy, Ryan. He reviews toys on his own YouTube channel called Ryan Toy Review. 22 million he made last year. How about that? 22 million dollars. He's had 26 billion views. Wow. Um, if YouTube was around when we were kids, we'd be billionaires by now. And we just that. needed someone to say, hey, somebody. we're going to do this. Um, and look, I love the fact that he's on a playground. Clearly, this is shot like on his mom's phone. She's like, yeah, go for it. Here's some toys. Play with it. Tell me what you think. That's hysterical. I got to get my kid on YouTube. I'm not going to lie. I kind of actually like watching that. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, won't make it down? Listen. We're going to work on this. That's our plan for 2019. Totally. Put our kids on YouTube. Make them make some money. All right, GQ made the announcement this week, and the Internet has gone up in arms about it. Take this a look. This is ridiculous. The magazine tweeted out that boot-cut jeans are coming back. But folks are like, uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, that picture is definitely not selling it. I mean, what is that? It's horrible This is, is what the picture is. that they posted. It must be a spoof. No, I don't One know. One guy says, as someone who owns a pair of bootcut jeans, these are not bootcut. What's happening here? I am scared. <laughs> I mean, look at the guy's face. This dude's face says it all. Like, no. <laughs> no, hard pass. Well, and I, it was so funny because I saw this last night. Chrissy Teigen <laughs> had tweeted about it, and it said, bootcut jeans are making a comeback. And her thing was, not, not if, if I, I can, can help it. it. And she was tweeting all the horrible pictures of that. So, yeah. I didn't mind them when they were around. I have a pair of bell bottoms that I just bought last well, year. See, now there's a difference between boot cut and bell bottoms. Those were those, bell bottoms. Those look like bell bottoms. Those look like bell bottoms on men. I don't know. Mm. Mm. But you know what? We also said that men would not wear tight pants. And then they got the super tight pants and tight suits. Yes. So and you know then what? every music pastor across the country went in real skinny jeans. <laughs> So Dead with love. Love so you. I'll probably catch on to this trend in about two years. Two years. Yes. That'll be when it comes around. Chipotle getting into the holiday spirit in a very foodie sort of way. The Christmas tree made entirely of food. Now this one is at one of its New York locations. Look at 
at that. 80 heads of romaine lettuce. Must have been the recalled lettuce. I, they had it been. left over. They Why said we not? should make a tree. Let's do something with it. Lemons, limes, more than 50 fresh ingredients in all. Look at that. Husband wife team made it. That's wow. phenomenal. Yeah, it's really cool. That wow. looks neat. They uh, do a different food display every week. Mm -hmm. So when they're done, the food is going to be composted and donated to local farms. Oh, that's good. Pretty okay. cool. I really, yeah, the romaine, I hope it is the recalled stuff. I hate seeing food just being used as like Well, why not waste. use it? You don't have any other right. use for it. Right. So let's make a tree. All right, switching gears from the healthy. Mm -hmm. To today, we honor the food that brings us a lot of joy and a lot of calories. It's National Comfort Food Day. Mm. And you know what? I think that's fitting on today, the National Day of Mourning. You know, yeah. don't you just want, and our temperatures, we had some snowflakes just today. Something that's cozy. Do you have a favorite comfort food? Wine. You should tell us. Oh, food, mashed wine. potatoes, <laughs> and wine. Oh, nice. Mashed potatoes and wine. Mm. Tell you what, I, I want to say something like a mac and cheese. But mac and really, cheese is good too. It's soup. A Soups bowl are good. of soup and crusty Soups bread with good, good butter is basically that. I mean, that is like call the cozy police. That's that's pretty Carol's delish. Happy. That's pretty mm -hmm. delish. I'm not gonna I'm not a gonna argue big with old that. Glass of wine. Although I do like French fries too. Oh my gosh! So we were a little up in arms about this. A Harvard professor was talking about French fries and the actual serving size that we should have, and it's a it's sparking outrage. I don't believe this. Eric Rim. I love that we call him out by name. Eric Rim. Public enemy number one, <laughs> Eric Rim, said that French fries are a weapon of dietary destruction. Okay, well, I'm on board with that. He says you should eat six. Not six servings, not six baskets, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's and all you if get. you're the psycho that counts those fries, you might as well just forget anyone that's near you. They're going to go, what are you doing? I once had a guy who used to count out his almonds, and I was like, mm. oh, no. I mean, I didn't have a guy. He I was, was just like say, in my did presence. Did you date him? No, no, no. Oh, he just gosh. happened to be around Because that's a real hard pass. <laughs> if he's counting almonds, you're like, I don't think this is going to work. We're going to have to see other people. As I, as I pull a Chris Farley, like, give me those fries. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Okay, this is, this is truly, truly out there. If you've ever looked down at the carpet at Nashville's airport, now then you, you know what we're talking about. Now, listen, yeah. all, we are always looking at the carpet because my kid, the way it is, my kids are yeah. like, you can only step on brown. On the brown, on the so swirl. It's, like, it's a brown to the brown to the brown. The swirl, so I, yeah dialed in to b and A's carpet. Well, and a lot of friends, when they Instagram, when they fly, because so many people in the music industry are in and out, in and out, so when they come back, they take a picture of the B&A carpet. I'm looking at you, Lindsay L. I see your Instagram. So now it's a thing. It's a big I, thing. I didn't, it's a big, ah! it's a big ah! thing. Now you can have your luggage match the carpet. Traveling in style. So luggage, socks. Yeah. Oof. Those are oh, painful. those are tough. Those are tough. <gasps> the shoes Stop. I don't hate. I kind of would love that because then if you took a picture of those shoes on, on the carpet, the carpet, that's a full mm -hmm. circle moment. It sold on RayReadFashion.com. All of it's under fifty bucks. So there you go, everybody. Merry Christmas. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is a really unnecessary you, purchase, you but can I kind of love it. You can also follow b &A Carpet on Instagram. They have their own handle. So putting it out there. It's Wine Now Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to need a big one today. Yes.